Hi, I'm Sean Newman, Sonic Ecstasy 02 from the MP3 Car Forum. And in front of us today we have three of the latest USB powered and controlled touch screens on the market. Uh, from left to right we have the Xenarc 700 TSU. Uh, the middle is the MIMO 720 F2G. And on the right here we have the Lilliput UM70 CT. As I mentioned, these devices are powered and controlled via USB. Um, they're primarily to be used as secondary displays, so maybe in a rear screen uh, entertainment system, uh, you know, something auxiliary to the primary car PC display, uh, because the primary drawback of the USB controlled and powered technology is the fact that you don't have any uh, display until the system boots into Windows and loads the drivers. Uh, each one of these devices uses the same display link driver and currently they're all connected to the same PC uh, so that'll help us to evaluate them properly. Uh, right off the bat I noticed that the uh, Xenarc is the largest model of the three. I think that is because of the fact that it actually does have composite connections on top of the USB. Xenarc also comes with a lot more than the other two devices. Xenarc will come with a remote control, uh, some, a power brick, cigarette lighter, a stylus and some other components whereas the MIMO and the Lilliput uh, they pretty much just come with the USB cable and the unit itself with the driver CD. Uh, in comparing the display quality on all three of these items I noticed that the Lilliput and the MIMO are actually pretty much on par almost to the point where I'd guess that they're actually using the same or similar display panel. Uh, both of them have a glossy color rich look to them and actually look pretty good uh, with standing images um, compared to the Xenarc. Xenarc's image is a little bit cloudy and a little bit uh, matte in design where I'd say the other ones have that glossy appearance on them. Uh, but that's not to say that the Xenarc isn't a quality display. I, I mean it doesn't show the colors as bright maybe with the factory settings but um, sure looks rich and it looks great for being a USB only monitor. So what I wanted to do is show uh, just a couple of pictures of these. Um, this comparison is really more valid than the latest comparison they did because all of these are the same similar device 7 inch USB powered displays. And what I want to do now is load up a video and show you the quality of the image when video is uh, being played and see how it affects the USB bus. So what we're going to do now is install the Andrian microphone. And we went through a couple different places where this might work, but it turns out the best place is right behind the steering wheel. So we've put the Andrian mic here. We haven't secured it down yet. We've taken the wire. There's a plastic piece that's covering, uh, that's basically holding in the glass for the, uh, the panels here. You actually can run the cable through underneath of here, and now it's just hanging. So now we have an issue where we need to feed the wire back through this panel and install the Andrea microphone. And we went through a couple different places where this might work, but it turns out the best place is right behind the steering wheel. So we've put the Andrea mic here. We haven't secured it down yet. We've taken the wire. There's a plastic piece that's covering, uh, that's basically holding in the glass for the, uh, the panels here. You actually can run the cable through underneath of here, and now it's just hanging. So now we have an issue where we need to feed the wire back through this panel. And Install the Andrea microphone, and we went through a couple different places where this might work, but it turns out the best place is right behind the steering wheel. So we've put the Andrea mic here, we haven't secured it down yet. We've taken the wire, there's a plastic piece that's covering, uh, that's basically holding in the glass for the, uh, the panels here. You actually can run the cable through underneath of here, and now it's just hanging. So now we have an issue where we need to feed the wire. So hopefully those video clips will show you that each one of the devices will, uh, you know, display a proper video image, especially if you're just using it as its intended purpose, a secondary monitor. Uh, the quality of the video was pretty nice. That was an HD video, of course, from the MP3 car um, blog. And uh, each one of the videos looked clean. Um, wasn't a whole bunch of uh, pixelation or distortion on any of that. I'd say the Lilliput had a little bit of problem with choppiness, but could be related to the fact that all three are hooked up or something else. So uh, as I show this kind of uh, static background to, try to show you the color between the, the three displays, I wanted to just go ahead and briefly mention a couple of the uh, differences between the device. First of all, the Xenarc, as I mentioned, will also do a composite connection. Um, it's got a stand that comes with it, a vase mount stand. 
it actually will do other resolutions other than 800 by 600 whereas the MIMO and the Lilliput are pretty much fixed at 800 by 600 you could actually go up to 1080 on the Xenarch but of course the quality of the screen is uh, affected you'll see a smaller picture display as a result of using that resolution uh, the Xenarch as I mentioned is the biggest device um, just in dimension and probably has to do with um, some of the added features that it has. Uh, the MIMO is, in my opinion, the sleekest uh, device. It's got that very nice uh, blue on the side. It's got the buttons on the side as well. Um, it's a quality display and it actually, if I just pick it up for a second here, has the screen mount so you can actually fix that into maybe a headrest or a mount stick on the refrigerator or something so that's pretty nice that it comes built in with that it does not come with a vase amount though so if you're looking for that option you probably want to go a different way I believe they do have a MIMO display with the vase amount but this one just has the attachment on the back uh, the Lilliput actually looks pretty good and um, it's got the nice chrome buttons on the side it's had those for the previous generations as well and um, it's sleek, but it's a little bit thicker than the MIMO display. Um, it does have a built-in stand on the back of it. Uh, if you can see that little chrome bar there, that'll actually use your display. And that's kind of why I have that stuff under there propping it up. Uh, it also, uh, like the MIMO, doesn't come with much other than the USB and the screen itself. All of these are actually powered right now by one USB connection so that's nice I mean you, they come with the option for two or an additional power but for my case all three of these seem to be working just fine with only one uh, so that's pretty much my review on these units I mean none of them really stand out from the others except for the fact that the Xenart of course has the, the other options in terms of powering and uh, display uh, just wanted to leave you with this uh, my name is Sean Newman and I'm on the MP3 car forum at Sonic SCC02. If you have any questions or wanted to see additional pictures or video on these units, please uh, feel free to hit me up on the blog or send me a private message. Thank you.